Peace, it's Queen Nisha, and in today's video, I will be reacting to bringing to episode 7 of Magic Ever Clade, so let's go ahead and get started in 3, 2, 1, go. Okay, so the last time we left, it was the magical girl cult or something coming after, uh, what's her face? Blonde hair chick? What the hell? I feel like I'm watching a 90s anime, oh my god. Oh, a fire. No, that's that witch, ain't it? Oh. Yeah, this is the night her parents died. Thank you, babe. Keep your voice sounds a little different. I don't think, like, if it was anyone else besides her, like, imagine if your parents got killed. How could you forgive witches and wanting to just be like, hey, let's take the high roll and not kill them? Like, I mean, girl, mm -mm. you got to do what you got to do. And if you die by killing a witch, even if you, even though you ain't kill all of them, at least you get to move on to the next life with your family. She can be with her family again, but I don't think she's going to die. I don't think any of these girls are going to, well, no, because, yeah, no. I don't think, like, even in the game, and I'm nowhere, like, around where the EN version is on the server, I'm still, like, behind because I've been so busy, but no, nah, I don't think they would kill any of these girls, would they? <laughs> Baby is so short and I love it. He's so fucking cute together. <laughs> Hmm. Oh my god, the twins! <laughs> okay, that makes sense. But then, are we going to see the boss? I need Felicia to see this boss before the episode ends.
Oh, okay. Good, good. I mean, obviously, but... See, the cook just wants to talk to the bosses. I just want to hold the fuck this bosses. Maybe just tell the twins you're with Felicia, you know, and nothing will happen. I don't think you guys need to fight. Yeah. I'm ready to see these two fight. <laughs> <clears throat> I mean, that's a little cheating, though, but, um, okay.
But still, isn't that a little unfair, though? I think I have that one on my team. I got one of them. That's the thing. I got one of them. Oh, Cody. There you go. <laughs> God, whoever plays Felicia, like, Jesus. So good. Wait, you may. See, this is why it would have been better if somebody else went with Aura. Because, I mean, Aurora, she, she can handle herself, but still, like, oh my god, my child is still a teeny tiny bit weak, so she needs help. Are they gonna? Oh, ho, ho, ho. It's an interesting form, I'll say that.
Bro, that was your drop off. I wonder if they're ever really going to show, like, Huey and um, Yachos. What? Please tell me she's not the boss. Yeah. Mm -mm. I don't think she want to join y'all cult. Mm -mm. Y'all not um quote unquote saying. Mifiru, what the fuck? Why don't you stay at Yachiro's house? Fleischer, you can't keep doing this. Freaking <laughs>
Big old sleepover. Right. <laughs> a real nice home cooked meal not always using money to go out to eat it's always good to have that I mean I'm impressed I wonder what that means but okay so Aroha you want to talk about that phone call that you just had and why you were freaking out and stuff but we ain't going to see that until next week but okay <clears throat> my voice <clears throat> I like Felicia. I really do. She still has some things that I somewhat dislike about her, but as a character, I think she's really interesting. I'm glad that we were able to see the night of when her parents died because that was something that I kind of wanted to see last week a little bit more, but I'm glad that they started the episode with that. I think if they didn't, I probably, um, I probably would have been pissed. Not as much, but it's something to get clarity out of for her to finally cry that's her still coming to terms with it and stuff and still dealing with the trauma that she has had for so many years ever since her parents have died but i mean she's been alone for such a long time and not to have anybody else with her and you know positive aroha comes in and blooming like a damn sun comes in and just changes like everything her entire opinion, not on witches, but maybe on anything else, and that it's nice to have people around you to cry over you and stuff. And she needed a cry after today's episode. She's had a lot of pent up anger in her for a very long time. Now the situation on the twins and um, love you. What the fuck? Magical girl. Okay, what the who the fuck? It's a it's gonna be another magical girl, you know. All right, going on to the twins was not expecting that issue with the twins. Oh my god, my girl, my baby! <laughs> oh my god, I love the fact that her cube was in this episode, but not her, and it's just like. Will you fucking come out? Like, we, we know you here. And so, let me see my baby, Alina, because I love her so damn much. She's If she's just in this show, if she's the only one out of, like, a couple of the characters who I like specifically for their voice actors, if she makes an appearance in this show before this show ends the next few weeks, I will be fine. I will not be pissed about one of my other best girls not being in this show. You already made me happy, I think, last week when the model magical girl came. And I was just like, oh my god. Even though she didn't have a speaking role, she was just there for a moment. And I was just like, that's okay, I'll take it. But then the twin. I, like I said, I have one of the twins. I don't know which one I have. And I think it's the one where her hair is somewhat parted and not the one whose hair is like down like a ponytail. But a parted ponytail. I think that's the one I have. I have to check my game. But, okay. 
I wasn't expecting the twins to be a part of the the cult. I still want to know. Like, it seems like Mephido is the boss, but I feel like it's someone else completely different. Someone who we haven't really met yet, and I'm guessing in the next couple of weeks we will get to meet them. But because of the fact is we are now on episode seven and we have less than six episodes to go before we're done. Like, on seven. Four more episodes. So, yeah, four more weeks with this show. I just, I feel like what they're possibly going to do in this next four weeks, they're going to, like, okay. In my opinion, I feel like this show is possibly going to have a season two. I want to go ahead and say that now. But I feel like if they don't, they're going to be a little too um, fast in these next four episodes. And then the way, however, this show ends it's going to leave you wanting more and they're going to be like, hey, if you want to know more, play the game. That's the biggest thing. I mean, I don't know how much, how accurate the anime and the game are close tight knit because I'm not as far as I want to be because I'm always busy with all these other games that I play. So it, it's just, that's the biggest question that I'm really going to want to know once the anime is done and once I continue going nonstop because like I'm still, I don't even know what chapter I'm on for the game. I would have to look, but yeah. Other than that, guys, that is my reaction to view towards episode 7 of Magic Magica, Magica Recorded. If you guys enjoyed it, please give me a like. It really helps me out. Also, subscribe to my channel. I make videos every single day. Join the Magic Squad. And, of course, I will see you guys officially all next Saturday for episode 8. Bye, guys.